December 12th, and this is the view with Catherine Chang. Today's topic is a Taiwan fish. Chips and NDAA. According to the Council of Agriculture, China once again banned Taiwan seafood exports on December 8th. On the same day, the U.S. House of Representatives passed the bill to provide 10 billion U.S. dollars military aid to Taiwan. Here are some points: A. China demands all food exporters to register their products. However, the deadline for Taiwan exporters is August 31st, but for other countries, is June 2023. Of course, it arouses trade disputes. B. I think the ban on Taiwan seafood is politically motivated. Why? First, it might be related to the NDAA. Almost at the same time, the U.S. House of Representatives passed the 2023 National Defense Authorization Act (NDAA), which also raises up to 10 billion U.S. dollars in grants to Taiwan. Second, it might be related to the TSMC's two-inch ceremony in the United States. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company TSMC hold the first two-inch ceremony in Arizona on December 7th, only one day before China's banning on Taiwan seafood. Something worth mentioning is that the founder of TSMC, Mark Zhang, and his wife Sophie had a private meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden after the ceremony. Well, this is the photo of Mark Zhang's wife Sophie and Biden 49 years ago. Well, Biden wrote in the photo, "Sophie, it has been a long time, but you are still gorgeous and lovely." We can see over the photo here. We can see that the photo was taken in 96. 73. Well, Biden was running for a senator, and Sophie was one of Biden's campaign organizers. Here are the top stories. Today, we have less than 20,000 domestic cases. First, I want to talk about China bans Taiwan's export in order to reopen small three links. After China blocked 178 seafood items on December 8th, more than 2,000 alcohol, beverage, and food products were suspended on December 11th due to what China said incomplete registrations. On the other hand, the chairman of the People First Party, Qin Mingdang, James Song, and Kimen County Mayor-elected Chen Fuhai visit Xiamen to discuss the reopening of the small three links today. At the same time, Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen said that the reopening of the small three links hasn't been confirmed yet. China once again hinders the export of Taiwan's products, such an approach doesn't enhance the normal cross-trade trade relationships. On the other hand, Germany said that Taiwan is important. According to the German press, Tagesspiegel, Taiwan is the most important place to protect because of its global influences in the semiconductor industry. The loss of Taiwan's chip supply will drive international development to second Moreover, Japan ruling party senior member supports Taiwan's CPTPP bid. We know that Japan LDP's policy chief, Koichi Hagiuda say that Taiwan will be able to join the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, CPTPP. And we also know that what Taiwan's representative to Japan, Frank Xie, said that Taiwan-Japan relations are about to reach a new level. Pure non-governmental friendship cannot cope with Taiwan's trouble. In addition, U.S. military's B-21 is targeting to protect Taiwan Strait. The U.S. stealth bomber B-21 the radar was unveiled in a high-profile event on December 9th. U.S. Secretary of Defense Loyal Austin made it clear to deploy the B-21 to deter China. And he said that B-21 radars could fly under the noses of Chinese S-400 air defense systems and saw the Taiwan Strait with quick strike mines. In the end, I want to share with you that officers with center hats spark debates. We know that that, you know, police officers at the new Taipei City Christmas Land wore center hats during their duty. However, some policemen think that it might harm the dignity of the police. New Taipei City Mayor Ho Yu Yi said that the Christmas hats added a touch of warmth in their duties. Well, I think these are the photos that they wear the Christmas hat. Don't you think it's kind of cute? Well, that would be the view for today. This is Catherine from Taipei. I hope you all have a nice Monday. 
and I'll see you again.